Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot. I am here to do a reading for Pisces. Pisces, this is your happy birthday reading. For um for your birthday and also the um Pisces season in general for 2021, whether it's February or March. Pisces, this is your birthday reading. I just want to say um happy birthday to you, Pisces. Please keep in mind that this may or may not resonate with you. Um Timing is fluid, so this could resonate during your birthday or Pisces season in general. Or it can manifest later on down the line in time. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in, Pisces. Um, your oracle and what's crowning you for Pisces season and or your birthday is flower. Be honest with yourself. Your first card out was the Wheel of Fortune. This is the major arcana for um, Sagittarius and Pisces. Um, this is your major arcana as well. This can be your major arcana. So Sagittarius and you, Pisces. What clarified the Wheel of Fortune was the Tower. This is the major arcana for Scorpio and um, Aries too sometimes. Um... I don't know, Pisces. The energy I've been picking up, it don't have, like I said, this don't have to resonate with you or for you. But um, y'all going through it um emotionally, like y'all going through it. But let me be quiet. Let me just finish reading the cards. Um, when I ask for more information about the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups came out. So Pisces, this could be you. The King of Cups. The King of Cups is very intuitive. This is also emotional mastery. What clarified the King of Cups was this High Priestess. This is the Major Arcana for you, Pisces, or it can be Cancer. Um... When I'm getting Pisces, there's an unexpected change. Because the Wheel of Fortune is all about change. Or it can be... The Wheel of Fortune could also mean karma. Because that's basically like what goes around comes around. But um, I'm getting there's an unexpected change. Suddenly, the tower. Something that catch you off guard. A shock. So, there's an unexpected change. Um, what I'm getting from this, Pisces, if this is you, if you are a feminine watching this, and this is you, if, if this is your energy, I don't know if you could have caused the tower moment for somebody, or you could be happy about this tower moment. Or you could have been intuitive about this tower moment. But this, in this King of Cups, this King of Cups, he's smiling. So you was either intuitive about this sudden change. You was intuitive about it. You probably happy about this sudden change. And probably going, this change probably going your favor. Or you, you caused this tower moment to possibly an enemy. Or a foe or something. Or somebody that was getting on your nerve. Because um, High Priestess is here. So this is all. This this is like intuition. This is secrets. If you are. Um, uh, what I want to say. Pisces. Because what I initially got from this King of Cups. Don't have to be. But I got masculine. I got a man. And what I got was this King of Cups, Pisces, you could be dating another water sign or married to another water sign. Um, but what I got was it's a change concerning this King of Cups. I don't know if this King of Cups is no longer in love with somebody or if this King of Cups is falling in love with somebody. So I'm getting this King of Cups can be you, Pisces, 
or this can this is masculine energy so if this king of cups could be your lover pisces either this king of cups is switching up on you and he could be falling out of love and it can cause you a tower moment Or this King of Cups could be falling in love with you. And either way, it's a tower moment. It could be a good or a bad tower moment. Um, either way, I think this High Priestess is secrets. This is secrets. This King of Cups could be secretly in love with you. Or secretly falling out of love with you. Is this King of Cups Pisces? Mm. Is this King of Cups Pisces? Yeah, okay. So Pisces, this is you. So King of Cups and High Priestess. Is this High Priestess secrets? Is this telling me secrets? Yeah. Okay. So Pisces, you are controlling your emotions concerning some secrets. Or you are intuitive about secrets. And I, be, and I believe, Pisces, you could be causing a tower moment. <laughs> you could be causing a tower moment for somebody else. Or you could have a tower moment around this secret. Like this secret can get exposed. Or you probably exposed this secret. But this you, this King of Cups energy. The Will of Fortune. Is this Pisces? The Will of Fortune. Is this Pisces? Nope. Mm -mm. The Tower. Is this Pisces? I don't think this you either. No. Yeah. So. Yeah. Something going. Hmm. Yeah. So this is you, Pisces. You could be keeping secrets and you got to control your emotions concerning these secrets. But I'm getting, Pisces, you probably did something devilish to somebody. King of Cups and High Priestess. Is this Pisces doing something to somebody? Causing somebody a towel moment? No. Because that King of Cups is smiling. Is this tower moment beneficial for Pisces? No. Yeah, you just hold in secret. Somebody else is having a tower moment. It could be a Sagittarius. It could be another Pisces you dealing with. Or it can be a Scorpio. But somebody in your energy is having a tower moment. And um, you either was intuitive about this tower moment Pisces or you're, you're hiding your emotions about it and you have to hide your emotions because you have secrets or a secret clarify the tower but you this not your tower moment this somebody else tower moment clarify the tower a two-faced friend a two-faced friend Clarify the high priestess. Happiness. Happiness. Clarify the king of cups. June. June came out the month of June. Um... What is this secret? Is Pisces being two-faced? Is Pisces the two-faced friend? Is Pisces the two-faced friend? Mm. Is Pisces the two-faced friend? Yeah. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> um, okay. So, <laughs> Somebody is having a tower moment, Pisces. <laughs> and you either knew it was going to happen. You knew something was going to happen. 
But you was being two faced it, and that 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 was your happiness, cause you high priestess, and you caused either a Scorpio, another Pisces, or a Sagittarius. You caused somebody a tower moment. You caused somebody a tower moment, Pisces. Pisces, this um. Yeah, you was being two-faced to Pisces, and that was a secret of yours you was keeping. That was your happiness. Um, Why is June here? Why is the month of June here for this King of Cups? Oh, you might get your karma for causing this tower moment in June, Pisces. Because, like I said, this King of Cups is smiling. And it's like he looking. You got to hide your emotions. And this King of Cups cracking up at this tower moment. That's how that came out. So, um, I don't know if this month of June could be telling me, Pisces, you're going to get your karma. Because the will of fortune is here. And that will is um, neutral. So, it, let me see. Why is the month of June here for the King of Cups? Okay, I'm going to take the first card out. Okay, so it says strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Okay. The King of Cups is usually about love. So I don't know, Pisces, if you could have been, if you, you could have caused a tower moment for a lover. You could have did it out of revenge. Or you could have, um, what is June telling me? Is this past June? Okay, so this something happened in past June. So you did something in June out of strong emotion, and it could have been um, a lover. You could have done something to a lover because you could have been jealous. You was being two-faced it. And during your season, during Pisces season, Whatever you did in June, you was being a two-faced friend. It's going to manifest and cause a tower moment for somebody. And the secret is you happy about it. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. Yeah, you heighten your emotions. But I'm getting you, you probably love this person, but they could have made you jealous and love. And you did something to your lover or your ex or whoever this person is. Because you, that King of Cups is cracking up. That mouth is open. He is happy and smiling. Mm-hmm. This could have been a lover. You probably love this person. But they did something to you to piss you off and made you jealous. And their tower moment is going to manifest during your season. Yeah. So, is this Pisces being two-faced to a lover? Was Pisces, be, Pisces being two-faced towards a lover? Yep. Yeah, somebody made you jealous. Strong emotion. Yep, because it's letting me know in June, you did something in June out of strong emotions, passionate hate or love. And I got jealousy from that. Mm-hmm. So whatever you did this past June, Pisces, it's manifesting. You causing a tower moment for a lover because I don't know they realize you two-faced it. If they don't realize that you was the one who did this, whatever you did to them is manifesting during your um during your season. So I'm gonna go ahead up here to the top and read y'all Oracle. I wanna I might clarify that will of fortune too. Cause I don't know if this will is gonna stop this tower moment or if it manifests. Let me just ask the cards. But I think it happened because that King of Cups is cracking up. Is the Will of Fortune going to stop this tower moment? Is the Will of Fortune going to stop this tower moment? Oh, it's telling me, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you did something in June, Pisces, and you was just patiently waiting for somebody to have a tower moment. But this is letting me know that this, this will is here 
to stop um, divine timing, to stop this tower moment. So what you, whatever tower moment you wanted to cause to this lover is not going to happen. Or it's not going to happen the way you wanted it to happen. Yeah. I don't know. You probably wanted them to find out that you was being two-faced. You could have done something and was just patiently waiting for them to figure it out or find out it was you. But it's not, the will is going to stop it. Yeah, so let me just, um, flower. 17, let me read your oracle. Be honest with yourself. We do ourselves a major disservice when we aren't truthful with ourselves. There's something you know to be true, yet you continue to ignore it. Lying to yourself may feel like the easiest thing to do, but things have changed. It's time for you to face reality, even if it makes you uncomfortable. No matter the outcome, it will be it won't be nearly as bad as you think. Okay. So the cards say it's time for you to face reality. Lying to yourself may feel like the easiest thing to do, but things have changed. Things have changed. This will of fortune. There was a change. So what I got, but the energy that I got while I was reading your oracle, what I'm getting Pisces is you try to make somebody jealous because you felt jealous. I don't know exactly what you did in June, but it's like you was patiently waiting for this person to find out and whatever it was. They were supposed to find out whatever this was, was, was supposed to be manifested during your season. During Pisces season. But the will of fortune stepped in. So this is divine timing. This is divine intervention. What I'm possibly getting Pisces is. Say like for an example. <clears throat> you got an ex. Ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend. Y'all could have broke up in June. Y'all could have broke up in June. And... This is like you dating somebody else. And you did something in June. This past June. You did something in June. Say like you got a new boyfriend, Pisces. And you just waiting for your ex to run into him or see him at your house or whatever. You waiting for your ex to figure out who you dating or whatever. So it's like during your season, your person, your ex probably run into your new boyfriend or your new girlfriend. And I'm getting a little bit, your person didn't react the way you wanted them to react. Something didn't go how you planned it to go, Pisces. I'm getting the person didn't react the way you wanted them to react. Yeah. So let me go back up here to the top. Well, clarify, Flower was the queen of pentacles. So this is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, well, clarify the Queen of Pentacles was this Eight of Wands. This is Fire Energy, a, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This Eight of Wands. Oh, I see what you did, Pisces. I see it. I see what happened. It got something to do with a child. It got something to do with a child. I don't know if you could have had a baby by your ex and went off somewhere and um jumped into another relationship like real quick. Because that's what I seen. That's what I seen when I looked at that. You could have had a baby with your ex. And it's like, he could have left you and out of jealousy. It's like, because that baby looked like he about two, three months. Probably not even. A couple of weeks. And it's like, you jumped into a whole nother relationship with somebody else. As soon as you had that baby. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing up there. Um, 
clarify this queen of pentacles clarify the queen of pentacles that's what i'm saying that's why i got down here you feel some type of way your person didn't react how you wanted them to react because it's like you had a baby by your ex and it's like I don't know if you wanted your ex to get jealous because I don't know another man could have been around his baby. I don't know. Because this eight of wands could mean sexual intercourse, like sex. So I don't know if this could be telling me to tell you to be honest with yourself that you use sex to get pregnant. I don't know if you was trying to trap um, this person. I don't know if that could be telling me to tell you that. Like, you use this baby to get eight of wands. Like, eight of wands is advancement, success. Clarify the queen of pentacles. Clarify the queen of pentacles. The Pisces. Yeah. A sincere wish will be granted. A sincere wish will be granted. Um, let me see. Is this Queen of Pentacles Pisces? Is this Queen of Pentacles Pisces? Yeah. Okay. Um, Pisces, did you do something to somebody? To get to the top, I'm getting a little bit. You could have done something against somebody to get to the top. Like, it say a sincere wish will be granted. Let me see. What is this wish Pisces wanted to be granted? A rat. Someone working against you behind your back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pisces, you did something to somebody. You was able to... Whatever you did behind somebody's back, I'm getting it. It something you got success somehow because it say a sincere wish will be granted. Someone working against you behind your back, and I asked what did, wish did Pisces want granted? I don't know if you turn somebody against somebody else, or you was working behind somebody's back. Secret, you was secretly working behind somebody back. You was able to do something. Because it's like this high priestess clarified happiness. This high priestess. So it was your, this secret was your happiness. And I'm getting it, it got something to do with a child. Like, it's like a sense, a wish, a sincere wish will be granted. I don't know if you wanted somebody to get you pregnant, and they did. But it's letting me know your wish was to work against somebody behind their back. And you got it. If you wanted a pregnancy, you got it. Yeah, that's what that's telling me. But when I asked for more information about flower, the moon came out. So Pisces, this is your energy. The moon is everything is not as it appears. The moon is secret enemies. Yeah. What clarified the moon was this four wands. So, Pisces, you could have fire in your chart. So, this is like, this telling me, Pisces, you had that baby and you, you moved on. Or this is letting me know you use sex to get pregnant. You probably planned this pregnancy. Hmm. But I'm getting from this moon energy, you were somebody's secret enemy. The moon, Pisces, that's you. You were somebody's secret enemy. And I'm getting it was jealousy. An ex could have made you jealous. They could have left you with that baby. And you did something to this person behind their back. Um, this four wands is here. So I don't know if... Um, you could have been married to this person. Um, let me see. What is this four wands? What is this four wands? I gotta hurry up. What is this four wands? Oh, shoot. What is this four wands? 
What is this for? Why? This part two. I think this video two. A meeting with a stranger could be important. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Hmm. Oh, Pisces. You, this, you set somebody up, Pisces. You set somebody up. I see it in the cards. And you act like you didn't know. I see it. Whether you male or female, somebody set somebody up. It was out of jealousy. And I'm getting it was an ex-lover. It could be a child's mother, a child's father. I don't know if you could have paid somebody to do something. Because it say a meeting with a stranger could be important. So you met up with somebody. I don't know if it was the enemy of your ex. You did something shady. Um, but why is the four of wands here? A meeting with a stranger could be important. You set something up. Yeah, because rat is here. And that was your wish. It's like you at home with the baby. Because the eight of wands could be text messages too. Emails, text messages. You at home with the baby. You sending off these emails. But it's like. I don't know if you could have sent somebody to somebody's house. Because it's letting me know this moon energy Pisces. You did this. You sent a stranger to somebody's house. That four wands. I don't know if you caused a burglary. A, a, um, a robbery. But I see it. I see it right here. Something went down, moon energy, at somebody's house because you met with a you met up with a stranger. Yeah, you had somebody do something to somebody. I don't know if this could have happened in June. Something happened in June. Oh, you could have, you could have the jealousy could have started in June. That's what happened. Your jealousy could have started in June. And I think during this, your Pisces season, you're going to, yeah, you're going to set somebody up. And it's an ex-lover. If this is not you, Pisces, the cards is telling me it's you. But if this is not you doing this, somebody doing this to you. But yeah, you at home with your baby. And you texting. You emailing or you texting this stranger right here that you met to set your person up. And it happened at their house. Whatever this is. A robbery. Uh, I don't know if you had somebody steal somebody's car. But this is at somebody's house. You sent somebody to somebody's house to do them harm. That's what's happening. Mm-hmm. Yep. So whatever you did, it's like you try, you, you acting like... It's like you did it and you turned your back on it, but you still involved in it. Because it's like you meet with this stranger. You t It's like you tell them when the, where the person live at and then you go home. And you and this person is texting back and forth. And it's like you just waiting to see the outcome of the situation. But this car say be honest with yourself. So I don't know if you attempted to get somebody hurt. But this the, the will of fortune stepped in. And this person... Didn't have that towel moment. Yeah. That's what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. I, I see that right there. And it happened at night. Moon energy. Secret enemies. Yep. Yep. So, Pisces, that's what I have for you for your um for your birthday reading. Um, yeah. Um... This wheel of fortune stepping in though is for your benefit, cause whatever you tr whatever you try to do against this person, you don't want that on your conscience like that. The universe did you did everybody a favor. 